I want to tell you about something that always moves Christ. Are you ready for some good news? Jesus has suffered what you suffer, so Jesus understands. As we near the end of our week studying the lives of Scripture's unheralded women, it's fitting to pause at the centerpiece of the whole story of the Bible, the cross. Oddly, of the men, only John is reported to have been at the cross, but the text says many women were there. Matthew 27, 55, there are also many women there looking from a distance who had followed Jesus from Galilee. The women were willing to watch and weep. There's value in looking long and deep at Jesus' suffering because Paul highlights the virtue of sharing in Christ's sufferings, Philippians 3.10. Literally, Paul says we have koinonia, fellowship of his sufferings. Friend and musician Tommy Hicks was attending a professional golf tournament in Greensboro, North Carolina a few years back, and a large crowd had gathered to watch the PGA great Ernie Els at the practice tee. Hopeful, hopeful fans had been calling for Els' autograph, but the champion was intent on his practice, but it all changed when Tommy called out. Mr. Els, Tommy exclaimed, you and I have something in common. My son has autism. Without another swing, Ernie Els handed his club to his caddy and came straight towards Tommy. The two spoke and shared their story. Ernie Els also has a son on the autism spectrum. Els has established a foundation for autism research. A whole crowd of fans couldn't get the great golfer's attention, but the one man who shared the fellowship of his sufferings moved Els instantly. The fellowship of suffering with Christ doesn't mean that you have to experience everything that Christ suffered in order to identify with him. It means that no matter what you suffer, Christ is instantly in fellowship with you at every point. And that's the gospel. Well, that's today's good news. And you can get more videos like it by clicking right here. Or better yet, be sure and subscribe to this channel and start out every day with good news.